Hey, 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 happy new month to everyone. Are you trying to be in a good mood all the time? If yes, then please listen to this short clip on how to be in a good mood, because I believe that mood is everything. This audio is rich of treasures. Continue to work on yourself and to comprehend this stuff and apply it to your day-to-day -day life. Please listen to this short conversation closely and how mood affects your day. Once again, the ending is super. I'd like to thank you for listening to my audios. Wishing you an awesome day. Enjoy and chill. Around you, that, that, but you knew for sure. Yeah. So you were in more anticipation. I mean, I just then I actually went outside and I walked over and was in the sunshine. It was amazing. Yeah. The plane was coming down. And you, you're starting to see your future, like really clearly see it. And then you get those those moments of clarity, and you just, you're feeling good. Like, you, you're happy, totally unconditional. And it's just amazing. And the thing was, was I, I was feeling the sun, looking at the plane, and I thought, when you're on the flight, you think the landing, there's some worry about it, like there's a, a, something could go wrong or whatever. And then from that more distant perspective then, I watched how effortless it was and how easy it was. And I just had that thought to myself, like, this is nothing. You've helped me so much. Every day I listen to your recordings, and it really clicked the other week that feeling happy is unconditional. Even though I've introduced so much resistance to it and got in the way of myself so many times because I haven't felt worthy of what I truly desire, you see that the happiness is like, just be happy. Be There's not anything inappropriate, and we are never guiding you away from finding happy subjects to focus on because that is an easy way to be happy we just don't want it to become necessary that there always be something happy happening to you in order for you to be able to step back and find ease and well-being anyway and that's why understanding how it all works understanding the laws of the universe understanding who you really are understanding that this too shall pass if it is something unpleasant helps a lot yes yeah, and I'm reticent whether I should even bring it up, but I've always kind of been waiting for this relationship I've wanted. And I met a girl about a year and a half ago. It's funny, like when I'm on my high flying disc, she keeps popping up, but then so often it's there's so much resistance there and the energy's just not right. Well, when you're on your high flying disc, you're not focused upon the improbability of it or the struggle of it yeah. and so it feels good and so yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the key is to keep good feeling going as long as you can yeah. by milking good feeling situations and then if there is something that is presenting itself to you that when you feel you need to focus upon it, like you have no choice about it, then you focus upon it with the really overriding, underlying understanding that this is an anomaly, that high flying is who you really are, that this is an exception, that this may even be a residual of something past going on in your experience, that really the momentum is in a different place. And under those conditions, you understand that you can deal with anything. Yeah when you know how it all really fits together. Yeah. So what specifically is it that you want to talk about? It was that. That's the thing is it's just a, I don't know, maybe I just need confirmation or to put myself up here. But that's all right too. But yeah. confirmation is pretty much conditional. Yeah. In other words, Abraham, if you would just tell me that I'm on exactly the right track <laughs> and that this thing that I want is going to be, you're asking us to create a condition that you can then have a conditional response to. Yeah. It just doesn't matter then, does it? <laughs> well, it matters because it's something that you want. Of course it matters. Yeah. You can't let go of your desire, yeah. but you can feel when you're helping it along yeah. and when you're hindering it. Okay, so when you're hindering it, I've listened to enough that you say go general. Do you just totally get off the subject or is there at some point that well, I you know, soothe it? It's interesting because we've written a few books and had really a lot of conversations about what to do when you realize that you're not in vibrational alignment with something that you want. And 
of course you could try to find a better feeling thought and you could try to think another thought of course that's what we recommend in that situation but what we're really advocating is getting out ahead of it before the negative thought comes get the momentum going on the positive thought because if you get the momentum going on the positive thought the negative thought is less likely to come it's getting out ahead of it that really is where your mastery of all this is and from what we can feel from you you are ready for that mastery you've been in the high flying mode often enough deliberately enough and you've maintained it long enough that you know the benefit of it you've had the advantage of having wonderful things happen and making the conscious correlation between how that matches the mood that you've been in so what we're really talking about here is your mood what's your mood what's your attitude what's your mood if somebody comes and says something rude to you we all understand why your mood might be what it would be we're talking about what you do before that what is the mood that's going to turn to things what's the mood that you've got going on so if you get up in the morning when your mood is likely good because you haven't had time to brood about things then if you can keep that positive mood or attitude going then you'll get further into the day and more positive things will happen it's getting out ahead of it what to do when you get blindsided by something that you didn't see coming because that vibration was familiar enough to you that if you'd been in a better mood you'd have noticed it as something that you wanted to turn away from but since you were sort of kind of in that mood you didn't notice it Did you hear that so it felt like you got blindsided because it felt sort of normal it was just an exaggeration of the normal if you're running around feeling vulnerable if that's your mood then things that make you feel more vulnerable are going to keep showing up in your experience but when you wake up in the morning and you discover that feeling of empowerment if you can keep that going after a few days vulnerability isn't your attitude or mood invincibility is that's what our friend was saying I feel in life I feel invincible I feel sure I feel like good things are coming and we want him to keep that mood going no matter what which means you got to find it every morning and hold it as long as you can through the day and then find it the next morning and hold it as long as you can through the day and find it the next morning and hold it as long as you can through the day and before you know it your day will support the way you started it because today even though your momentum subsided while you sleep today you're still going to experience some momentum of past beliefs so what are you doing at the first of this day will have a big impact on whether those negative beliefs those hindering beliefs peter out and do not become part of your experience or whether they're active enough that they play a big part in your day it's pretty simple isn't it be as happy as you can be and when you don't feel happy take a nap and when you wake up be as happy as you can be for as long as you can and when you don't feel happy take a nap and then when you wake up well, tell your employer that Abraham said <laughs> naps are important the funniest thing I think is that Pharrell song that blew up around the world happy and the opening line is you might think it's crazy what I'm about to say yeah 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 enough yeah, yeah really good, good.